Hey everyone, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today we're sharing with you three easy, healthy dinners. And these are from our new cookbook, Healthy Eats. So my name is Kristen. And I'm Kendra. And today we're sharing with you something a little bit different. This isn't Instant Pot recipes, but we're so excited to share with you our healthy cookbook that came out just, what, a month ago? Yeah. <laughs> it's very new. <laughs> it's super new and we are a big fan of, you know, making dinner but also eating a little bit healthier. Yes. So this, these recipes are from our healthy cookbook and yeah, if you guys are ready, let's get cooking. <laughs> so the first recipe we're going to be making today are our buffalo chicken tostadas. Mm. It doesn't really get much easier than this and it's also super healthy. Well. For the most part. It's healthier. Healthier yeah. than going out to eat. It's so. true. It's very true. Better than a Big Mac. <laughs> but okay, so we'll get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is add your plain Greek yogurt. So we have about a cup and a half of plain Greek yogurt right here. You can use like a sour cream mayonnaise combination, but this is from our new healthy cookbook, so we're going for healthier alternatives healthier. here. Healthier. Okay, what's next? I can so, help you. So, we're going to add about a half cup of some buffalo sauce, and we'll just mix this together. Nice. And this, we always mix this separately before we add in the chicken just to help oh, combine yeah. it just a little bit to, better. To maybe smooth out yeah. the Greek yogurt. Yes. There we go. What's the word? Greek yogurt. So, once we have this mix, We'll just mm. add in our chicken. You okay. could do, you could boil your chicken breasts or do them in the Instant Pot and shred them. I love rotisserie chicken because yes. I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> All the cooking is done for you. You exactly. just gotta shred it. Okay, do you wanna add that yep, in here? Yep, you ready for me? Yes. You want all of it in there? Um, yeah, most of it. Okay, I can do that. That's probably good. Perfect. Okay, so again, just like five to six cups of shredded chicken. Nice. We'll mix this all together. Now also, like if your kids don't love the hot sauce, you yes. can also add some barbecue sauce in yes, too. It would still it would be like a creamy barbecue sauce, but yes. I love hot sauce. Yeah. I love things and a little the, spicy. It gets tamed with the plain Greek yogurt, so it's not as spicy. So nice, I, nice. I have the most weak mouth. <laughs> and I cannot do spicy, and I love these. So. Perfect, perfect. And then once you add the cheese and all the other toppings, Good. any weak mouth like mine will handle it Golden. just fine. Golden. Golden. All okay, right. So now you just want to put about a half cup on each tostada. So yes. this recipe, it kind of serves a lot. It serves about five to six. It makes about ten to twelve tostadas. We're just going to do one pan of six today, but. We usually serve two per person when we serve yeah, this. Yeah, I, I eat two. I yeah. easily eat two. And then, once you have all your chicken on top, this is a fun way to get your kids involved, kind of get them familiar with cooking more healthy. There we go. They can top these off with their favorite toppings. So it's kind of like a pizza. So we'll top these with some mozzarella cheese. You can use really any cheese that you have on hand, but we definitely prefer our mozzarella. We love, love some good mozzarella. mozzarella. Our fresh mozzarella, that would be really good. For yes, it too. would. And then to these, we've just chopped up some green onions and some cilantro. Mm. So this is also, if your kids that. are kind of weird with both of these toppings, you can put them on before the cheese, so then it's kind of <laughs> hidden. <laughs> and they or won't just, see it, but. Just omit them and they yeah. will still eat it, that I'm too. sure. And it has great flavor to it. Right, okay. I love green onions and the hot sauce. That's one of my favorite <laughs> things. All and right. the best part about this recipe is it takes three minutes to cook these. You're just going to broil them on high oh. for three minutes, and then bada bing, bada boom, Perfect. dinner served. Perfect, kind of out of control with the cilantro. That's okay, mm. everyone loves some good cilantro. Me too. Okay. All right, should we stick them in? Yes. Perfect. So that's literally all you have to do for this recipe. It, yes. What, how many minutes that took us to throw together? Like, maybe five. Maybe, maybe five. <laughs> and it's super delicious. Now if you are going even healthier, you can easily serve this on a salad yes. or something like that. But for now, our kids love this and it's mm -hmm. good. All right. It is so good. Let's move on to the next recipe. Okay, this is our second meal. This is our protein penne pasta from our new book, Healthy Eats. And it's so easy. It I, I guess all easy. the recipes in this book are easy, but it's <laughs> like, all about easy. It just we amazes me every time. Like dinner can really be made in like five minutes. Exactly. So, okay, we'll get started. Let's do it. Okay, 
So we actually are cheating just a little bit and we have already pre-cooked yes. or browned our ground turkey. Now yes. you can use ground beef if you want, but ground turkey doesn't have as much fat and so yes. that's why we went towards that. We're just yeah. gonna dump this into our skillet. All right, what are we gonna add next? Okay, so to our skillet we're going to add a half cup of low fat or no fat cottage cheese and then a half cup of plain Greek yogurt and this is what's gonna really give it that creamy, yummy pasta. And then you're going to wanna find a sugar-free pasta sauce. So a lot of pasta sauces have added sugar or corn syrup, but there are some out there, you can find them at your local grocery store that don't have any added sugar. So we'll add that, add the whole jar, I think 16 ounces. Yeah, yes. or, or like two cups. Yeah. yeah. Okay, seasoning on top, what do we mm -hmm. got here? This is a one teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Nice. And then a half teaspoon of garlic salt. All right, so our pasta just got done cooking in our Instant Pot. We did whole wheat pasta, so we cooked it for about five minutes rather than four. So I'll just dish this into the bowl. Ooh, looks good. It does look good. Oh, that, oh, that liquid out, there we go. Then and our sauce. That sauce, it smells so, so good. And then we'll just top it off with about a tablespoon of Parmesan cheese. And you're good to go. Awesome. That's all there Looks is to Looks good. <laughs> all right, all done with this recipe. Let's move on to the next one. The last recipe we're making today is our flatbread pizza, our veggie pizza. Yes. And this is another great one for kids to help introduce new vegetables. They can decorate their own pizza. I love how you say decorate. Yep, yeah. It is. It's a, it it's is. a it's skill. A craft. It's a skill. Okay, <laughs> you talk about the bread and I'll start putting this on. Okay, so we've got some, we have two flatbread veggie pizzas. So this is enough to probably fill about three. So we're just going to do two right now. But you'll just want to spread out your pizza sauce just as you would a pizza. We have about a half cup of pizza sauce that should be plenty for all three. And you can find sugar-free pizza sauce too. Yes. Like that's not hard to find. Yes, and they also have like whole wheat flatbreads, but even thin flatbreads yeah. that are like 100 calories. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you can search for any type of flatbread. Yes. So. All the flatbreads, give me all the flatbreads. Me too, all okay. day long. Then on top of your pizza sauce, we'll just add some mozzarella cheese. Again, fresh mozzarella would be really yummy on this. You could do a combination of mozzarella and Parmesan, just whatever you have. Add this on. You're doing great. Thanks. Sorry. I'm a champion sauce. <laughs> okay, Ben, do you want to start decorating? Yeah, what do you want for zucchini? Zucchini. All right. So I love zucchini. I don't know, have you ever tried like the Papa Murphy's vegetarian oh my pizza? Gosh. It, it is, is my so favorite. Yummy. It tastes so good. And I love that there's just a ton of veggies yes. on it. So it's kind of what we did after that. I love the yes. zucchinis on it. I'll All add right. some spinach. You do that. So I'll add some spinach leaves on here. Nice. I love the spinach, how it like wilts I too. I know. You can't even taste it. I swear my kids don't even know there's spinach in it. <laughs> Except for the fact that it's bright green. Yeah. But. <laughs> Could be anything though. Exactly. <laughs> okay, done the zucchini. Okay, do you want to do the artichokes? Yes. I love the flavor the artichokes bring these pizzas. Me too. They are so, I'm not much of an artichoke person, but on these pizzas, <gasps> they are good. They are. I love artichokes. I know. I'm just gonna do artichokes on the one pizza. Okay. Because my kids don't really love them. That's so. fine. Perfect. And then we also have some diced Roma tomatoes. Nice. You could also just Can have some tomatoes? cherry tomatoes or whatever you have. Nice. This would also be yummy if you have like some bell peppers, some red oh, bell peppers, yeah, green yeah. bell peppers. Pretty much you could put any vegetable yes. that your kids will eat or that you like yeah. onto these. All right, and then I'm just adding a little bit of onion. You can add red onion. Mm, I love the, really I love onion. I, I love the too. strong flavor mm -hmm. of it. So I don't mind having white onion on my pizza. Okay. Okay. And then you'll want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees and then these will just bake for 10 minutes. Super easy. And you're done. Perfect. All right, should we throw them in? Yes. Let's do it.
Okay, so our flatbreads just came out of the oven. The cheese is all melted and the crust is starting to go golden. So that's how you know it's done. So she's just gonna cut these up. We like to cut them in I'm doing little, little squares. squares. Okay, perfect. I'm like, I'm yeah. a square kind of person with this. So. <laughs> and then we'll usually just serve this with like a bagged salad or something simple right. and dinner is good to go. We also like to keep just a little bit extra pizza sauce just to dip it into. Oh, that's a good idea. Or ranch. Or ranch, I was gonna say. So this cookbook doesn't have any Instant Pot recipes, but our Instant Pot recipe is for pre-order. Still working on the cover, but we'll put a link down below in the description for you so you can find both the Healthy Eats and, and pre-order our new Instant Pot cookbook. Yes. So, all right guys, that's all we have for you today. We'll see you next week.